Okay, um, hello everyone. Um, welcome back to another Databyte stream. So today we're going to be doing Barotrauma, a bit different to Space Engineers. Just decided to do something else for a change. Um, so today we're just going to be building a submarine. Yeah, just we're just playing um, vanilla. We're not using any mods, so um, it's coming out on Steam soon. But for the moment, you can get it for free from BarotraumaGame.com. Um, if you ever want to play this with me, it's multiplayer. You can just um, message me. Um, just comment comment on one of the videos or message me on one of the live streams and you can join me in this. Um, it's completely free as well, so you can get it from... The, there's a link in the description for the website. So, um, yeah, let's just get started. I've been playing this game for a little while now. I made one other stream on it, but honestly, that was, it was a bit crazy. <laughs> um, also, back then, I didn't use a mic, so... Yeah, I'm just going to... Um, I've made... Few sub most of these are just downloaded ones, but some of them, like that one, um, I made myself. But anyways, let's just get started. So, I just start nuclear reactor. So this is like powers the submarine pretty much. Um, so in some mods there are different ways to power the submarine, but generally pretty much everything just uses a nuclear reactor. Um, I reckon I'm gonna have. Probably a separate reactor room to everything else. I'm, in fact, I might have the oxygen generator in the same room as the reactor, just for easy access. In fact, I might have it so that if I get a door, um, I might have it so that I have access into the engine room directly from the reactor room. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Um, okay, just gonna stick some top holes on. This is probably going to be a pretty long stream. I mean. Probably an hour, an hour and a half, um, because making subs does take a while. Probably won't finish it today. I'll probably have to do a part two, but yeah, we can just do as much as we can. Okay, I'm gonna put um, engine there. In fact, I'll put a um, battery nest. So. Extend that. Extend that. Just use that for the engines. Um, also, some junction boxes. Okay, engines. Just there. In fact, I might have this as my junction box room, so I might just move these down a bit, say. I don't really know what size sub I'm going for here, so actually I might just leave it, and I'll do the junction box room last, because I don't know what sort of wiring we need. Um, yeah, just engines. Uh, stick some of those on. Probably be I don't really know what I'm going for here, honestly. Problem probably should do heavy armor. So you guys can just say stuff in the live chat and if you want to join right now, then just say in you can. Um honestly you don't need any good PC to run this, it's pretty basic. So, it hopefully should be pretty good stuff. Uh, hi. Hi, Jumper Jake. Um, well, I should probably call you Fat Man, because, you know, that's what you normally use. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just using vanilla, because, honestly, signing a BCE sub just takes forever. <laughs> um... Yeah, engines and stuff. Do some nice backgrounds. Gotta have those nice backgrounds. Else people will complain. There we go. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty good. Just put some more backgrounds. 
I'm going to have a cabinet there. Honestly, I like BCE. It's I like the items in it, and I just don't like the wiring. It completely it makes the wiring a lot harder. So, find the um, just vanilla. It'd be cool sometimes. Now, I think I'm gonna have an airlock into the reactor room just for draining purposes. Just a small little airlock. Also, maybe some sort of bilge pump. Move these over. Yeah, honestly, yeah, and BCE generally use batteries. Sometimes they use the reactors though. Um, I do have some effect if we just save this here. Oh, I do have a BC. I won't save this because I think I might have used it on the um, server before a few times. Go away. Okay. It's a bit strange because I don't have the lots of. I don't have BCE on at the moment, so there's bits listed everywhere, but this is for BCE. So I have got the reactor wired for it. Took a while, but it's cool. Um, that's the military version of it. Um, okay. So back to my other side, anyways. Um, honestly though, my last Barotrauma video got like 60 views, which is sort of funny, because even though Space Engineers guys do put the most effort into it, it's just like a random Barotrauma stream, stream some random stuff, it's my most viewed video, somehow, maybe because it's just the power of a free game. Um, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have like a set sort of central ladder thing going up there, and this is going to be like the mid deck, and I have top deck and stuff like that. So honestly, I think I might just do a uh, top heavy wall up to like there. Yeah. So, yeah, that's probably just something simple for now. I generally want the reactor and the engines pretty well shielded. Then I'll go hatch on there. Actually, not scrap this. Scrap that bit there. Okay, I'm gonna have a hatch there, and I have platform there. platform up to there I'm just going to put a really long ladder there <laughs> for whatever I'm doing I do like having all of the sides of the sub really heavily armoured though it's very helpful in most cases let's do that Um, okay. Pretty cool. So I think we need some sort of like wiring thing. I guess that'll be there, I guess. Or do I want the command deck to be there? Oh uh, yeah, I guess I'll have the wiring down. Do 
see some walls. Yeah, heavy armor is great because this light armor, it's just like single little like husk even just coughs on it, it breaks. This stuff is pretty nice. On my stations, I use a triple layer or a double layer of this sometimes, but for submarines, it's just one. Okay, this, I'm not really sure what this should be. Yeah, I guess wiring. I'm not really sure what the back here should be. Hmm. Maybe I should have back here as the wiring and then this is some sort of storage area. Also, I would really like to have a pump. Another neat thing I like doing is having a um, pump directly wired to the reactor. So it can even work if the junction boxes are busted. So that doesn't work in BCE, but I think you can do it in Villa. I haven't tried it for a long time though, so I don't know if you still can. Let me move that up there. Make the text. Okay, I'm going to have this as some sort of storage area thing. I guess. Just gonna have some cabinets. I'm aiming for this to be like a sort of medium sized sub, like not giant but not tiny. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Might actually just get rid of those. Oh, wait, oops. Okay. I also do want some sort of shell rack, just for storing railgun shells. And that's probably good storage. And then I guess I'll just do junction box room in here. Check the chat. Yeah, crafting, actually. God, I, forget, I always forget about crafting until like the very end. It's strange. I, I should probably make some sort of build system rather than... Yeah, that'd be a better idea. Okay, so if I do... Right all there.
Um, what? Why's the? I get that. That's strange. So apparently, when it's closed, the closing thing sort of just floats up there, and then the open thing just doesn't. Yeah, I know. I, yeah, there's people. Oh, you joined my server again. Oh, okay. Um, I guess I'll just use these glitched sprites. It probably won't make any difference to the actual thing. It'll just look strange. Um, I'll set these to red, just because, you know, they're important. Oops. Oh, no. Okay, that sort of bilge thing. Sort of flow down into the ballast, which I'll put down a bit more, depending on what I have. Okay. It's gonna have regular panels in here. I'll do. These there. It's looking pretty good. Okay. Yeah, may as well just stick a pump there. In fact, I don't really need the bilge, honestly. It looks a bit glitched. Honestly, it's just a bit weird. Some people really like the bilge systems. I'm not a really big fan of them, unless they have to. But honestly, if you have a loss of power, you don't really need them. Oh, shuffling trim trim boxes. So I might do it so, like, I just build the sub today and then wire it the next time. Or I might just do that off camera because wiring takes ages. Also, I can do um, holes now for sourcing the ballast tanks later. Remember this? I remember this. There was this one sub. And the holes didn't actually connect between the rooms, so you'd like you'd dig a hole to get into a room with like a plasma cutter, and there'd just be like water just sitting there. That's like high pressure, and it just like insta kill you as soon as you touched it. It's a weird sub. Yeah, guy tried to dig down to get into the captain's quarters, and um, he got crushed. That's up there. Actually, I don't see why I need that in the engine room and in here. I'll just have them there. I'm going to do fabricator there, and then a deconstructor there. This stuff's probably not going to have a med bay, it's probably just going to have medical supplies that are just scattered throughout the sub. Actually, it might be with these. Yeah, I guess. Okay. 
so the next thing, I guess I'll just do this. Ugh. I think I'm gonna have the airlock on the bottom and then have some sort of like top thing as a docking sort of module to connect it to other slabs. Or I might have that could be just ballast access and then I could have the airlock along over here. Yeah, that'd be a better idea. Okay. I still want the sub to be long, but just do that out. It's probably way too far, but yeah. Okay, I'm going to save this here and just do some gameplay just so that you want, like, Board I see mind. If you want to join me again, just say. Okay. Okay. So I'm just gonna go a new game. I'll play with this, another sub that I made. That's also vanilla. Okay, so this is the Europa. It's a pretty large sub that I made. It's vanilla, not BCE. So I'm just gonna get it started up. I'll just throw on a drill rod. Put the uh, rail guns on charge. Captain. Oh, this is a lot of railgun batteries. <laughs> Still, though, it's very good for firing. Okay, where's my... I should just tell the AI to, like, stand by the reactor and wait. In fact... Wait. Is it okay for that? Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll just I'll just give you a tour. So I'll just stop in the uh, command room. So this is the command room. It's got pretty much everything that you need to do the sub. Um, it's got an extra sonar monitor just for seeing a bit further. Um, this is sort of the captain's quarters. She's got some medicals and also um, a bunch of spare master ID cards in case you have any friends that you want to give those to. And also um, jumpsuits. Now the jumpsuits on this sub actually hold loads of equipment in them. So I have. Two jumpsuits for the captain, all holding useful equipment. So I'm just gonna grab those for later. Um, so the captain has access to the whole sub. I've made that so in some multiplayer games, on like sub like the Asia, you have to just and sometimes if say you're the captain or the security guard and you're chasing a tracer, they can just go into their roles dorm sub or just, just room and um and just sort of sit there and you don't have the access to get in. So I gave Captain and pretty much security- and Captain, Captain have, has- the Captain has access to everywhere, but the security guards um, have access to almost everywhere apart from the navigation room. So, but you can always give the key cards to other people if you want them. So the security guards have some extra stuff, I won't mess around with it though. 
Um, also, lots of medicals. Just they also do have these orange jumpsuits. They have healables in them, surety guards, because they do have pretty good healing. So I'll just skip over that. Um, then there's the brig. This has I don't normally do airlocks like this, but if you've got prisoners, you don't want the them being able to quickly jump out. Um, so we've got prisoner jumpsuits. They just have like breathing kit in case the sub floods, and also um, a fire extinguisher and a flashlight. And they're also ethanol because if you drink ethanol, you get slower, which means it's easier to detain you. So yeah, please drink the ethanol if you're a prisoner. It makes life so much easier for everyone else. And so this is the forward sort of shaft ray, I guess. And this is so that's a that's a between the two. Okay, so this is the this basically just has lots of bombs for loading shells with. So basically, assistants ha also have access to loads of the sub, and it, assistants are really important in the sub. They basically load rail guns. They're basically cargo managers, so they completely oversee cargo operations. Include so they have access to a lot more parts of the sub than most roles. Um, basically, the front of the sub is pretty high for is pretty high priority. Basically, only doctors, assistants, and captains and security guards have access to here. So no engineers or mechanics or anything else. Um, then there's crates here. This is this is an assistant place where the assistants are able to go. They're not able to go anywhere else. Just in these sort of three rooms here. Then if I go up to the... I'll, go, I'll do this in a second. Okay, so this is sort of another storage room which just stores loads of extra railgun shells. Um, it's just a sort of, sort of like passageway between that, between the forward tunnel and the mid tunnel. So this has a shaftway leading up to the airlock. And also on the side here we have the medical room. So this is where doctors spawn in, they get some just normal equipment and then also lots of medical things to use. Also medical fabricators and also assistants, um, you basically just, if you're playing multiplayer, you just ask them to deliver me stuff that you need for crafting and they, well, as long as they're playing by the rules, they should. Um, this is the sort of main room of the sub, this is just a passageway with some signs. This sort of just, you might have noticed just the signs stuck around, this is basically the order of them, so red is vital, orange essential, yellow important, green not essential, and blue unimportant. Um, so yeah, you can see like if in all of the rooms I have like a list of tasks. So like say um, doctors, heal people in need is red, and then orange is this captain and security, green ask assistance to get more materials. Okay, so this is the reactor room which you've already seen. It has an airlock on both sides into it, so essentially no water can get in. Um, the pump is wired straight into the reactor. It doesn't go through any power junctions. Okay, so I'll just come out of here, into the assistance quarters, which is pretty small, honestly, they don't need much except breathing equipment, and a, they have welders, just in case they need to fix stuff, and also a crate in their inventory, and medicals, of course, everyone gets meds, everyone needs healing, um, so there's just lots of spare stuff in here, loads of storage, the assistants have access to here, again, not, I don't think mechanics and stuff have access, oh yeah, they do, sorry, just in case they need, in, in case there's no assistance on, and you need to get here yourself. So this is the back passageway. Down there is the evacuation airlock. That's a special airlock that you only use if you need to evacuate the sub. I'll use it in a bit though. So this is the mechanics courses. So we have mechanic kits. That's probably pretty easy to figure out. It's just mechanic stuff, materials for crafting. Also, this is so is it mechanic only mechanics have access to in there, but. Um, assistants have access to in here. This is where they sort of just drop stuff that, that the mechanics need. And also, if the mechanics say crafts a railgun shell, they can just hop out here with this door closed, pop it in there, and then go back in where the assistants can't get to. So, um, yeah, it's sort of like a delivery system. And then the. Not that this is ever going to work for me, multiplayer and ferrous genre is horrendously stupid. Honestly, people are more intent on blowing up the sub than actually doing the mission. So here we have the engine room with the one single, completely overpowered engine. Yeah, you can't toggle the force in here. So this is all junction boxes of the pump. Then up there at the very top, we have the engineering room. That's where the engineers do stuff. Okay, so I'll... Ow. 
Okay, so I'll just use the evacuation arc just to show you how it works. So essentially you just strip off all your stuff, say that it's an emergency, you just strip off all your stuff. And then click on dive suit, throw on a dive suit, they already have oxygen night tanks loaded, so that's extra oxygen already. You just grab, grab a scooter, sonar, battery cell, have amount of oxygen tanks you need. And then you just swim out and then you just hit the airlock button. So there's no way to actually open it from the outside, so when you're swimming through it, you can you can open and close it from the inside though, so somebody else can use it. So you can actually just leave this open if you're really needing to swim out. So I'll just close that. But you can also close it, close it from there if you need to. Okay, so scooter. So there's a little window in the back here just for fun. Though sometimes a mantis or something does sort of swim in here and it's a bit annoying. But you can just make the sub go fast. So this thing is covered in railguns. It's got 360 degrees of railgun coverage. There's railguns on top, sides, bottom, everything. Okay. So this is just a camera so that you can see outside, because often things like to hide outside and then munch on you as soon as you jump out. This is the main airlock, so this is the normal airlock that you use for expeditions and things, so I'm just going to drop my diving suit there. Cut this out. Let's check it. Um, so in there you have loads of battery cells, chargers. I don't think I even wired the chargers yet. Yeah, I haven't. Um, Scooters, harpoon guns, handheld sonars. So only security and the captain have access to up here because of what's in this, which is morbacine for killer. That's basically the fastest way to kill sea creatures. Also, um, chloral hydrate for stunning things, um, and loads of medicals, of course, because you'll need some after going on a wreck dive. And also, only the captain and security have access to here, but the emergency airlock everyone has access to. So you can just, no matter who you are, you can get to there and then jump out. So we've got loads of um, welding tools and things, and scooters. Also these airlocks are pretty much foolproof, pr foolproof unless you wire them, there's no way to open both airlock doors or something, you just click and the doors sort of switch. It does, make, it does make water go everywhere, but the pumps can sort that. Okay. And I think I've done everywhere, oh yeah, except the ballast. So if there's two ballast tanks, they're both, you have to, I think, get to them both from down here. Sorry, there's just one main ballast tank now, I think. Yeah, this is the main ballast. So yeah, it's just loads of storage. Also, ignore that. Um, okay, so loads of storage and stuff. So yeah, that's go. Ah, I'm getting pinged. Okay. Stop in there. Open this. Up on your off, I'm just like leaving the um, trail to the railgun room open. Ah. Power's being a bit fudgy. Just turn it off a bit. Okay, so it's a pretty hefty sub, so it does move quite slowly. It's faster than the Aegir, but um, slower than the Nehalania and the Velamo. But it does pack a pretty big punch and also has some very thick armour. Essentially, it's a less runaway, more fight back sort of thing. Okay, so there's some little creatures appearing on the radar. It's sort of funny how the battle music appears even if just like a single crawler shows up. It's a bit annoying. Looks like some husks and crawlers mantises. Nothing to be worried about. Yeah, I don't know what happened on my last stream. I was just playing a normal match and then an N worm just comes out of nowhere. Oh, that's something big. It's not good. Hopefully it's not a Moloch, those things are... Narc's probably a curse. I think I've avoided it. So this is actually just fast enough to skim past most creatures. Anyway, so I might go back down there and just f try and fight it, but... For now I guess I'll just go back up here. You can ping the active sonar if you want. Just to see stuff, but often I just leave that off. So 
So it, so it is quite fast, it just takes a while to get up to speed. Oops. Ooh, might get a bit of a thud. Looks like some sort of room in there. Anyways, I'm just going to load the um, railguns with some stuff. And then we can go back and fight that Marlock. Okay. Oh yeah, that that's um that's the least reg I hid in the bottom of the sub somewhere. Probably need to go back in the video to spot it. Didn't go on it for long. Don't think these shells are loaded. No, they're not. Okay, they'll cause no problem. I mean, a lot of people like building some sort of storage just so that they can store pretty much infinite railgun shells, but often there's no way to top those ones up um, unless they're like ones that can actually slide around, which are often a bit annoying. So this sub is designed for single player and multiplayer, but honestly, it, multiplayer is the best thing because of its sort of delivery system, but in single player it is, you're only able to top us up thanks to these railgun racks instead of having a sort of... Even though those other storages are much better because you don't need loads of space for them. I do honestly prefer the shell racks, it's much better. Just for single player. Also for single multiplayer rounds it honestly doesn't really matter. Okay, there we go. It's probably enough to kill something. <laughs> the railguns are all charged. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, let's get going. Here are active sonar on. Because we want to go after something. Being chased by lots of little things, not that they really matter. Of course, they swim in front of a shell when I'm firing it. And also looks fairly realistic, this sub, which is what I like about it. Okay, there's a big thing. Ooh. That is a big thing. Onto the upper. Where is it? Oh, my. Lord. Okay, now I can't shoot it because it's too close. Okay, I've got to run back to the thing and. Oh, okay, it's gone back up. Wait, no, no, it hasn't. So again, you can shoot things from any angle with this sub, so yeah, it doesn't really matter where things are at. I'm okay for water. Ooh. Oh wait, no, that's that's just normal. Okay, maintain position. Dead or something? Okay, yeah, that's definitely close enough to have noticed me. Okay, that does look like it's moving. dead. Gotta make sure though. You never know. Oh yeah, I think I see the tentacles just below it, like, floating off. Yeah, it's dead. Ah, 
Uh, Moloch's pretty easy to kill so long as you have a nuclear shell. Honestly, one nuclear shell so long as you don't hit them on the outside can just... What's that? It's a bit weird. Maybe I lost health for that. Weird. Yeah. Ah, I guess we should just scrape along the bottom. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's Barotrauma. Probably just finish the stream up here. So, um, yeah, see you, guys, see you guys all soon. Come back with another Space Engineers video, maybe more of this. Planning to start some arc soon. Maybe No Man's Sky as well. Uh, maybe a bit more elite. So, um, yeah. See you guys soon.